All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with top eight from the biggest retro tournament in the entire format, which is Austin Decker, AKA Rage Peacock, who just got top eight with what deck? Demon Hero. Yes, and what did you do in your build that was spicy? I know. Uh, there's a couple uh, things like with the trap lineup. Uh, I'm on the Armageddon Knight and uh, Necrogard now. Nothing too out of the ordinary, but we can go ahead and go over it as yep. they come along. So. The way I've uh, set it up is we have the five boss monsters. You have Dark Arm Gores, Triple Caius. Um, for the waters, we do Diva, Gilman, and Treeborn. Uh, people cut Treeborn a lot, and they're incorrect. This is one of the most. This is like one of the best cards in Edison, and this helps make that happen. The second part is the heroes. I went Special Prodigy, Sacrifice for Caius, more than I did almost anything else in the entire tournament. It's very good. And then we have the five just dark monsters. Graph Armageddon Knight, Sangin, Gardener, and Plague. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, spells are pretty self explanatory. Triple Miracle, Double Sarko to find the miracle or the future, Allure, Rota, Brain, Heavy, Space, Mine. Not too much to say about it. There's a couple of traps I did that was a little different, but we're on two bottomless. Everyone's on bottomless. Mirror Force Torrent. Uh, this card says I win. <laughs> yep. So Regeki Break is, uh, I like to over Wing Blast because I don't want to deal with the problem coming back. It's getting its back roads different things. I like uh, Break a lot better than I like the Blast. And having as a discard option is good to have like a Water or a Hero or just if you have a Necro Garden and other things. Um, dust Shoot is obviously Dust Shoot. The, the two things I did different was I made a Trap Stun. I expected there to be like GB and Blackwing a lot or uh, Bayou. And, and there was. All these uh, kind of loose of this. I took out Solemn Judgment for this, because most of the time if I'm using Solemn, I'm doing it on a back row, and if you trap set it, just clears that, and you don't pay half your life. Yeah. And I was Solemn three different times today, and each time they saw me, they lost that turn. Yeah, I'm really liking that people are learning that Solemn is a very dangerous card to play, and it's not as good as everyone thought initially. Everything needs to be questioned, so yeah, people are replacing it with other cards, and trap set, I could totally see that being a good replacement. Yep, I like it. It's very, very good every single time I drew it. Uh, then the 41st card was uh, Deck Dev Main. Uh, shout out to True Hero. Uh, he's the one that made me do it. So I was against it. I was testing it. I took it out and I put it back in and he's like, just trust me. And I played Frogs round three. I Deck Dev them for four cards. Um, Jeez, was that game one? Game one. Yep, that's game when one. it's the best. Most important. So I don't know. I, I definitely wouldn't. I don't, I don't see myself not playing it. It's every deck lose to it one way or another. So yep. that's it for the main. 41 in the main. You know, all the tokens. So we have a Chimera Tech, because I do side a Cyber Dragon. 3 0. Um, Armory Arm. 3 fives. Brio, Goyo. I did play this guy because I did expect there to be Amaryllis and different uh, things like Rikos and stuff. And with it being the uh, modern end of phase procedures, where if you go into time, it's end right. of phase, this gives you an option to where if I just get in the damage, it could possibly you know, matter. Never came up. Um, Black Rose was insane. I Black Rose twice, and every time I did it, won me the game. Uh, Darken, Stardust, Colossal, and then Thought Ruler, so. Very good. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, Double Dino, Frogs, Bayou. Um, oh, you saw that against Bayou? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so, I saw it with Bayou because I also saw it uh, Vortex and Knock. Right. So, it, it, it gets rid of their Rikos and things, and... Uh, they, it's hard for them to deal with it sometimes. Like if you have it, like obviously you don't just summon it and say go. Like if you get to a grinded game state, which is what they want, if you're able to grind down to it and then you're able to establish the Dyna and they have all their graveyard stuff set up, they can't really, they have to do way something out of it. Right. And I thought it was really good all day. Uh, Bandy's game was also insane. Uh, Snowman was for Blackwing. Whenever I uh, sided into Blackwing, I would uh, take out the Treeborn for just that matchup and bring in the Snowman Eater. Uh, Consecrate was also for Blackwing. And then the Cyber Dragon's the final monster. Uh, it was for if there was GB, if there was Machina. Um, I also bring it in versus Blackwing because I side out um, one Caius usually because it's for the Consecrated. So it was just another body to be able to put pressure on. Uh, Vortex, Knock, and Soul Release. Knock was mostly for Hamster Ryko. Soul Release for, I uh, brought in versus Lightsworn, uh, Frogs, you know, any sort of big graveyard deck. And then we had a good amount of frog hate in the traps. We had double pulling in the Restrict. Nice, nice little diverse portfolio there. Yes, yes. Then 
it's since it was an in-person event, I played one light imprisoning mirror. People love to play light swan in person. Yeah. And I played against one, and I drew, and it, it won the game. So. It cooked. And then so uh, most a lot of times what I would do was after game one I would side out the trap sun and bring in double decree. So versus Blackwing I'd bring in those five. Yep. And they have a very hard time dealing with each of these cards individually and then in tandem. I uh, in Swiss I lost to one black I played four Blackwing and Swiss oh lost God. lost to one and um, it was a non game nothing I can do about it. Then top eight I made it and played against the guy playing frogs who ended up winning the tournament. And uh, he beat me with frogs, but I did get to see you play your last round of Swiss, and you played against Blackwing and the Consecrated Light. Absolutely cooked. So did the Snowman Eater. Yep. So. Yeah, game one. So yeah, game three. He goes Whirlwind Shura. I'm like, oh man, that's not what you want to see in game three. So I just set Snowman, set MST. He MSTs my MST. I MST his Whirlwind. He runs into the Snowman with Shura. So I got a, you know, free plus two out of nothing. Yeah, so. that was insane, actually. Overall, I don't know of anything I would change immediately. I was really happy with how the deck went. Any game that I got to play, and it wasn't. Just any game that I played and I had the ability to play, I won. Yeah. The, two, the loss I had in Swiss was due to RNG that was out of my control. And then in top eight, I won my round uh, game one. And then uh, he, real quick, then he thugged me back game two really quick. And then game three, we got to a grindy spot where if I saw a hero over the six, six turns, I'd go without seeing a hero. And if I saw a hero in those six turns, I think I would have had it. But he ended up getting me and he ended up winning the tournament. So you know, congrats to him. But. Yep. If you guys have any questions, always let us know. Be sure to like, comment, you know, let us down. I'm always in the comments chatting and not let everyone know, so. Yeah, you're one of my favorite people in the entire Discord and everything. Shout out to Enrage Peacock. Thank you so much for all your support over the years and everything. You've yeah. won it a day one, so really appreciate you. And I'm really, really proud of you getting this top eight at the biggest retro tournament ever. Uh, just crazy to see you come this far. Yep, like, I know I where you started. It. And now, now, like, seeing you actually do this is just really really cool to me so yeah shout out to you yeah you're and a true hero like your whole discord server just everyone's been phenomenal all the people i've met i've got so many signatures on my tokens it is all the homies i met over all the different discords like edison's live and thriving and just i'm happy to be a part of it so yeah all right man well thank you so much and uh yeah we'll catch you in the next one peace